Let me show you a tool you may have never seen before. This is the circular saw reinvented by Cusby Industries, the straight flush cut saw. And it does things that no other circular saw on the market will do. Now this is a worm drive saw with 11.3% more torque for faster and cleaner cuts. It also comes with an eight and a half inch blade instead of your standard seven and a quarter. One thing that this saw will do that no other saw will do is normally when you're going to make some cuts, you either rely on the guard to come down as you push through the lumber, or you grab onto the handle and pull it back with your hand, bringing your hand pretty close to the blade. What Cusby Industries has done is they've put up here a lever that brings the blade back. So you don't have to put your hand down there. You can pull down and then pull the trigger and you're not putting your hand anywhere near the blade for increased safety. Another thing that they have on the back here is kind of like a little grenade pin. If you pull that, you can actually rotate the handle and there's positive stops at 45 and 90. So let's say you're doing an undercut on a door jam or something like that. You wanna use your, your saw sideways. You can pull that little trigger right there and rotate it. And now you can hold it in a more comfortable way to get a nice clean cut. You can also attach a, a vacuum nozzle on the top here if you want to hook your vacuum up and suck the sawdust away. And the saw also comes with this big bar that does two things. If you flip it so it's facing like this, you put it in your saw, you tighten down these four nuts here, and then you've got a nice wide base to hold your saw stable and to get nice cuts. Instead of on, normally on saws, they're just barely sticking out maybe an inch, inch and a half right here. In this case, it goes out quite a ways. Or you can flip it over and they've got measurements on here and you can set the measurements. So if you're doing repeat cuts, you know, three, four, five, six inch strips or something like that. And then you can set it against the plywood, run it down and do repeatable cuts. Now, if you switch this locking mechanism here, the whole front guard will come off. And now you've got a flush cut saw. And I'll admit it's kind of crazy and dangerous looking, but it's kind of what drew me to it and made me wanted to get one to try it out. So what this enables you to do is to do flush cuts right up against the wall. So let's say that you're cutting an access panel, or you're doing a reno and cutting out a subfloor, cutting out old hardwood or something like that, and you want to get right up against the edge of the wall. Sometimes you might want to use a track saw or you've got to use a, a reciprocating saw or something like that, and you're cutting along the side. This actually lets you get right up against the wall and make flush cuts. And not only that, this saw actually has the capacity to tilt back five degrees, like a negative bevel of five degrees. So in that case, if you're cutting down the edge of the wall and you've got a finished wall that you're cutting on and you don't want to mess up the paint or the tile or the drywall or anything, this could tilt away from the wall. You can still get a flush cut right along the bottom, but your blade isn't going to be running up against the drywall or whatever finished surface you have. Now, one of the reasons you can get a perfectly flush cut is because on the, in the middle of the blade here, it's actually recessed. So if you go and look down the blade, instead of having the nut and the washer poking out, meaning you can't get against the wall, because the nut and washer are inside the blade, you can get a perfectly flush cut. And they've also made it really easy to swap out and change the blade when it's time. This saw is also unique in that it will tilt all the way over to 65 degrees, which no other saw on the market does. Most of them will go to 45 or just beyond 45. This will go all the way to 65 degrees to give you the steepest angle of any, any saw out there. To adjust the depth of the saw, there's a, a, a lever here on the back, and you can go all the way up and set your depth with a max depth of three and a quarter inches, meaning you can cut through two two by four or two by sixes in one shot. Something else unique about this saw is you can pull this lever here and you can fl flip up the front plate, which will now allow you to do plunge cuts with the front of the saw, cutting out door jams, or let's say you're cutting out a window you've already framed in and you want to plunge through and cut it instead of using your router. Now I saw this saw online and I had to get one. It's not that I'll use it a whole lot in my shop for like some of the fine woodworking and things like that, but I actually used to be a framer for a lot of years and this saw really would have come in handy. I can essentially re replace like five or six other tools on your job site if you use it right. And I still do do some framing and I probably will build a house one of these days or an addition on my shop. Um, I still do some renos in certain jobs that I go to and plunge cutting through and making access panels or taking out wood and things like that. So it will come in handy for that. And I just thought it was a real cool redesign of a circular saw, which really hasn't seen a whole lot of like functional change to it since like 1927. So by adding all these different functions, you now have quite a bit more versatile circular saw. And I'm a huge fan of innovation and new ideas on old tools.